challenge is that we are not innovative, especially when it comes to fabricating machines that can add value or can be used in manufacturing. We beg to differ, and this next segment qualifies our stance. Making it in the agriculture sector requires knowledge, and good knowledge for that matter. With this also goes the right technology to simplify processes, while at the same time support productivity and profitability. This part making machine fabricated in Katwe does just that. Pellets for fish are a bit expensive. Eh? So if someone buys at the farm, he can produce his own food feeds for the fish, for the rabbit, chicks. This feed machine compresses animal feeds like maize brand in two pallets, enabling easier feeding for the animals while at the same time reducing feed wastage. This machine is made from strong flexible materials that can be found in various sizes. This cast iron scrap, you can burn them and you get the other material. You buy them in there in Chisenyi. It has a two power source depending where you are operating from. Actually, we normally put the diesel engines in because uh, in the village they don't have free phase. So we just put diesel engine. You just pour your diesel and you start the machine. Instead of power, you normally use diesel engine. If a customer has a three phase power, you normally put a motor, for an electric motor, if he has the three phase power. If he doesn't have, we normally put this diesel engine. We make the machine according to the size of the, the engine or the motor. It also consumes only 2 litres of diesel per hour at full capacity. This machine to make 300 kg per hour, you can use 2 litres of diesel per hour. More ingenious devices like this one are required for the agricultural sector transformation, more so if they are customised for our domestic market realities. It also shows the commitment of players in this segment of the market to stay relevant and support the country's agricultural growth agenda.